finally warmed up a bit. It's about minus one Celsius. So I can bring the boys out to play for a little while. I can't believe how fast Charlie is. But yeah, they haven't been able to stay out for very long. It's been like minus 15, minus 20. Charlie's having a blast. <laughs> Good. They were getting a little nuts, getting a little nuts in the cabin, having a tug of war. Hope you guys like puppy videos. This channel is all about my life, and this is my life at the moment. It's very much about this puppy. I may just go for a snowshoe on the pond later, because it's going to get real warm. I won't be able to. It's going up to like plus five tomorrow. So cute, they've been outside for oh, six or seven minutes. It's nice, it's uh, not freezing cold out for a change. So they're having fun playing around. It's funny, I went to grab the camera because Charlie Went out on my uh, snowshoe trail, about 10 feet out, sat there looking, thinking, hmm, should I keep going or no? Charlie doesn't want to come in yet. <laughs> Man, he's growing fast. Only had them for two weeks. They're not even coming up on two weeks. Some warm weather coming up. So even these little pieces I find are too big just to get them going in the fireplace in the stove. You gotta really get them going and then it's too hot. Can I do this? Let me see if I can do this one handed. <laughs> I don't think so. We'll try. Oh, look at that. It splits good. Uh, it's nice and dry and nice and, and below freezing. Yeah, okay. I'll get two hands and just finish these off. I grabbed as small pieces as I could, and so the rest of it was all small enough. I just needed to chop these ones up. It is amazing. I was just noticing, I thought the fire was out, but it's incredible when you got a little bit of embers and uh, some dry wood. It's amazing how it starts off again. You see some. A little bit of smoke coming out. I haven't decided. I'm, I probably won't, but uh, there's something to be said for clearing the trees out. The smaller ones, anyway. But I kind of already did over here. I don't know if I want to. Maybe I'll just take uh, these little ones down. It just looks so much cleaner when. Uh, thin it out a little and I'm growing to like the other side now that it's all cleared out we'll see how much I like it in the summer though but the bugs are bad here so there's always a little wind it might uh, help things out if I thin it out I know I'm gonna at least just cut these ones down these little ones here like not nothing big like that or that I like that little shade here. I've thinned this out a lot along the second pond, but I may uh, thin those small ones out. It's nice to get the sun in here. You can see it just straight up through there. At this time of year anyway, it's going to get a lot higher. Okay.
My beard's all poofy. Well, I'm out here doing more work on my Jeep. Actually, you guys missed a whole episode. I didn't bother putting it in. I changed all the pads and calipers. Three out of the four, because I did one in the fall. But yeah, they were all seized up and the air bleeder screws snapped off and needed some attention. What else did I change? Oh yeah, the, uh, yeah, I included some video on that, the front axle on the driver's side. So now, because of all the towing I was doing with this, especially the moves up here, I don't know if you can get this here, I'll switch it around. But can you see how the, the tire's not straight up and down? It's like, like that. So it's wearing the tires funny. So even though these struts are only a year and a half, two years old, they were budget struts and I just wore them out with, uh, I had a little camper that I was towing around too. And it wear, these just aren't made for towing. I'll just tow light loads. So I bit the bullet and Bought some premium, a premium strut coils. We'll see if they live up to the name. Best buddies. The warmer it gets, the more they want to stay outside. That's good. They'll be outside all summer. I'm glad I'm way down here, away from the road. That way I don't have to worry about them. <laughs> well, when I went into town yesterday, I forgot my computer, my laptop. So that means I didn't upload my YouTube video. So, we got out early, it's like 8.30 and we're going on a, this is a seasonal road that turns into a snowmobile trail. So we'll keep an ear out for any snowmobiles. It's early on a Friday, so hopefully there won't be any along here. You can hear them coming for miles though. Charlie's a little put out. He got in trouble for being a whiny dog the whole drive here. He's recovering fast, though. <laughs> Oof, we just woke up. And it, first of all, it's a little dark in here. Can't do much about that, but uh, it is friggin' cold out. Let me see if I can show you here. Moon's out. It's around 6.20, but it is. Minus 24. I just let the boys out. They're full of pee and vinegar. It's so freaking cold out. I've got, uh, I just made a coffee. I got a couple of the burners on. Making some egos. Excuse the mess. Didn't clean up yesterday. Yes, got my coffee. There was almost no coals. I had to take the torch to the fire. sound asleep uh, six almost 6 30 I think the last time I, the last time I was up was uh, 
probably two, usually I'm up every two or three hours. Trim the beard on the sides a little bit. Give us going poof. Oh, here we go. The morning tug of war. Anyway, I better tend to my egos. Six hours worth of wood left. I should have gathered some up yesterday. It would have been warmer. Now I gotta do it and well, we'll go through that. <laughs> we'll wait for it to warm up. Yeah, I think this might be the coldest night of the winter. Now the rest of the week is supposed to be crazy warm for this time of year. Like plus 10. I think there's even one evening where it only goes down. We have shadows. We'll half asleep. It only goes down to like zero or plus one, two, something like that. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> And my it goes. And it's time to go to the bathroom. That coffee works quick. Look at that moon. Try not to slip on the ice. Morning sun's coming up. Oh. Actually, there's no wind, so it's not quite as bad as it sounds. But we'll make her quick, that's for sure. Whew, glad that's over with. I had to get some shots out here, though. I have to clean the... I've cleaned the inside of my windows, but not the outside. So it's affecting my... Uh, not so much the video as well, maybe the videos too, but especially the pictures. Beautiful morning. The morning moon. That was bad timing. I'd say a second, two seconds after I turned the video off, the entire pond ice cracked and dropped. Maybe jump. Oh. You'll hear it. It's so quiet. You can hear the dogs fighting. I used regular pink insulation in the uh, A frame, the original A frame. I wish I had to use the rock saw, rock wool, like I did in the rest of the cabin. A little more soundproof and a little more uh, higher R, R value. The fire's gonna feel real warm. Oh my goodness! This is what greets me when I leave for a few minutes. No, you can't see; it's too dark. Hi guys! Hi guys! I can't see it all. You can hear it though. Yeah. Got a good fire going now. Put a nice big heavy piece of birch in there. Heating up the coffee. Have a second cup. Sun's still not up. Above the trees. Look how dirty my windows are. That's, that's on the outside. I cleaned the inside the other night trying to get a better picture of the moon. I had to open the window for a second. for a warm day. These guys are still rambunctious. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to stay cold today. We may have to stay inside. Charlie, are you getting ready to go? Can't believe these guys are staying out this long. It's like minus below minus twenty with the wind chill. But we're we're a little sheltered here, and they're in the direct sun. TJ's teaching Charlie to forage. <laughs> Jay's always done this. I know some people say that's a sign that the dog's got something wrong with its digestion, but he's always done this. Part cow. A little repair. A rivet came out here on one of my straps. See, it goes around. It goes around here. So, the, the, the rivet let go. Oops. So I bought a bolt where it was a little too big, so I just had to drill this out a tiny bit with my drill. That should fit in and uh, I'll tighten everything up. I got a, a nylon wa locking washer and a couple of, or locking nut and a couple of big washers. Should do the trick better than new.